In our, in our world, there are two main primary ways, Now I'm not saying there aren't others, but these are the two, by and large, most people in this world live under. One is capitalism, that's here in the good old U.S. of A. The other is communism and socialism. I want to explain these to you in a simplified manner. Capitalism says your money is your own and you can do with it what you want. Go build a company, make the price whatever you want, earn as many profits as you want. That's the heart of capitalism. The problem capitalism has always had is it is not socially conscious, right? If I can get you to pay $100 instead of $15, then I'll charge $100. I make more money that way, right? Social justice is not a huge concern of the capitalist. It is profits and how to make profits, and there's all sorts of ways you can justify it, but we understand that at the heart of it, this is something you have to work on if you're into capitalism, is how do I make a profit? How do I grow? How do I get bigger? But still also understand that there are those that I may be pricing out of my product that need it. One of the primary places we see this in our country is in the good old Department of Pharmaceuticals. A single life-changing pill can cost $5,000. And so what happened here in the last decade was the government stepped in and said, well, because of capitalism, people can't afford their medicine, so we'll take it. We'll take care of it. We'll do it all. And they said, let us introduce to you something called communism, as if it hasn't been tried before. Socialism is what they called it, just so you know. Your money is not your money, it's the people's money. And you should do for the people what we say you should do. You need to use your money for what the community needs. That's communism's primary focus. Now, there's a lot of good, and there's actually a lot of what sounds like the Church of Acts in there. Take your money, pull it together, everybody has what they need, right? The problem with communism right away is you take ownership away from people. When you take ownership away from somebody, you take away the motivi motivation to produce. Well, if you're only paying me to produce 15 units today, why would I work hard and produce 17? I'm only going to get paid for 15, right? There's no motivation. Also, you take away human dignity of ownership. You take away pride. You force people to give their money away. You take away choice. And the thinking is, well, you're not going to do it anyway, so we'll make you do it. And then there's a third economy. There's a third economy, and this is God's economy. And he says, you do with money as I direct you to do it. And you're like, okay, well, what does the Lord direct I do with money? Well, Christian says, the wealth you have you get to enjoy it. Enjoy your wealth. Okay, I like this so far. It also says you take care of the one who has entrusted it to you, and you use it as he is deemed. Okay, well, he wants me to take care of myself. I'm good with that. What else does he want? Well, he wants you to take care of the poor, and he wants you to take care of those in your community who can't take care of themselves, and he wants you to give freely and generously. Hmm. <laughs> I really liked God's economy when it was just take care of myself, but he wants me to do all that other stuff. You see, God wants the benefits of capitalism. God's economy is the benefits of capitalism, the ability to work hard and see the fruit of your reward, to work harder and see more fruit, and be able to give it freely, which is the backbone of socialism, that all the needs would be met, <laughs> needs, needs would be met, Right? This is God's economy. It's the best of both worlds. And he says, because it's my money and not yours, you're just a trustee. Capitalism says it's all my money. I'll do what I want with it. Socialism says it's all the people's money. God says, no, it's my money. And not only will I provide for you, but I'll provide in abundance for you. You won't be able to contain if you follow my form. Not capitalism, not socialism. Follow what I'm telling you to do with money. You know, the Bible has exponentially more verses on how we handle money than how we handle our sex life. It's that important. And so we're going to talk about this this morning because as a result, if we're to live in the third economy, which I'm proposing to all of you today, we are, even inside of a capitalist America, you can live in the third economy. 